media. My name is Felipe Alvarez Martin. I'm a chemical engineer at the University of Houston. Today, I'm running for the secretary position. Why I'm running for the secretary position? Because of you, the members, are the priority and for Shep. Now, there are three main things I want to go over for this position. It is point system, newsletter, and then we have data analytics. So for the point system itself, I want to make sure that priority is there where I have an platform where I can try to track the point system from the Google Forms either to the Excel sheet and make sure that the points are there and counted for. And if there's a misinterpretation, please let me know. Because I want you, the members, you know, to have that priority to make sure that you get the most active member rewarded and to you for you to be recognized. And then also for you to try to get and apply for those scholarships at the end of the year for Chef. Second, the newsletter. We're in the newsletter, we have to have concise the, um, information. So what I mean by that is I mean I like the format that we have right now. I want to make sure that we are going clear where we're like flyers, events, and then we got other miscellaneous stuff because I want you to have the information you need or want. Then for data analytics, as we, you know, we go to different types of events, make, knowing what type of members that we have there and trying to compare it back to see which events are successful and which events are not, we can then identify what you need or what you want and try to give you what you want, basically. And then I also have past leadership experience in other organizations. And I wanna bring it here because I wanna make sure that not only Shep is the best in the nation, but also on campus as well and try to go beyond that. But apart from that, I have had an amazing time in Shep where I, I remember the first time coming into the softball game, being greeted by everybody, shaking hands, getting hugs, and just, you know, trying to interact with other members and just seeing, you know, if I'm not focused on the event, I'm talking to somebody. If not, you know, it's always a great experience and being in committees. Oh, Thank you, Book Ring. <laughs> <laughs>
So uh, my question for you for as a secretary is that, so as a secretary, um, there are gonna be instances that you're gonna have a lot of different deadlines and different priorities that are coming to you at the same time. So how do you manage that? How would you manage that? All right, for deadlines, uh, I'll love to manage it, you know, having it like the previous question, you know, on the calendar, on the agenda, making sure it's there, right? And uh, you know, as I said previously in my speech, right, the newsletter, being the main thing I assume for deadlines and also, you know, for the point system later on, just making sure they're implemented there is, you know, just having the date, making sure it's there. If I miss the date, know what I can do to fix it. A uh, thing that I thought of was, you know, having, you know, the newsletter, if I somehow miss an event, have an extra, extra, you know, read all about it type of thing, you know, so it's a strategy, you know, like that newspapers companies used to do. It's just virtual now. That's what I was thinking. If not, you know, just making sure, like you said in the question, priorities, prioritizing what needs to go on there, what needs to happen, and just trying to communicate with the e board to make sure, double check that it is the right information. I'll ask one. In your opinion, what are the key characteristics that make a good leader and how are you going to implement these qualities in your role? Yes, that's a great question. So what makes a good leader is listening and asking questions. Listening is because you have to know what people want from you and what they expect and try to deliver and communicate back. And then asking questions is if you don't know the answer to their questions, you have to ask a question to hopefully get an answer so you can make your job more efficient and well done. 